But I can show you the 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 the, the meal again. <laughs> yeah, my friends, in the top right, uh, the bottom right corner, you see what we are going to do today. We are going to cook some tortellini um, filled with spinach and ricotta cream, ricotta cheese. It's a cheese, yeah. And to that we will add broccoli and uh, carrots for those super nice colors, green and orange. Mm -hmm. It already looks delicious just looking at those ingredients. And yeah, to that we will add some cream, cream cheese sauce, something like that. And yeah, I will now present to you the today's ingredients. Welcome. Welcome carrot. <laughs> Those are standard carrots from your discounter, like everything uh, else we have prepared. Um, tortellini um, filled, like I said, with ricotta and spinach. We will add some milk for the sauce, some cream for the sauce. Mm. Here's the cheese, it's, I, I don't know how to call it in English, it's smelting cheese, loosely, loosely translated from German. Um, one was Gouda and the other one was Herbs um, to get uh, this nice mixture. Um, we have some vegetable broth um, instant powder we were going to use and Last but not least, the broccoli. He's he's packed, <laughs> as you can see. And um, we need some last ingredient, just flour. Um, I'm using a type 550. I have no idea if uh, other flour is better for this um, recipe, but we will need this to thicken the sauce. Do you want to say hello? Ah, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, say hello to chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up high, right? On the mountain. All right, I'm a small mountain, but I'm a mountain no less to you, cat. Okay? Um, first, we have to cook the tortellini. Um, it's rather easy, just uh, prepare some salt water, dump it in there, cook it for like five minutes. So we will do just that and uh, yeah, in the meanwhile we can prepare uh, stuff. The pot that we were going to use, it's still wet. It's freshly born, born out of the dishwasher. Still wet. <laughs> See, but what we also can do is prepare some uh, vegetable broth right away. <laughs> so normally I just here take two tablespoons of it, dump it into the measuring cup. Bang, bang. And yeah, now we will fill it up. 300 milliliters, milliliters, liter. <laughs> yeah, now we have broth. <laughs> okay, let's just Cut those carrots, just peel them. In German too. Oh, I like the way you handle the carrots. Like this. This. <laughs> yeah, you, I mean, you have to talk to your carrots, right? They have a life on their own, so sometimes you have to carrot them, give them a little on the, on the skin, so they feel loved. Because when carrots are being loved, they feel better and they taste better. It's like talking to plants. I mean, isn't a carrot plant? I think it's a root, right? <laughs> Let's see. Let's cut them in half first, so it's easier to cut them. The tortellini are all done. As you can see, wait, the light is, this is better, yeah. After you drain them, so now they do you hear this smushy sound? 
<laughs> okay, <clears throat> now on to the broccoli and after that we are done with preparing everything and after that it will be much easier. I just cut them at the top. Now cut them into a size so that they fit into your mouth so you don't choke on your broccoli. My mother said to me back in the day, you will start to cook and learn to cook if you don't like to eat frozen pizza again. That was like 10 years ago. So 10 years of poor, poor skill, skillmanship, craftsmanship, something like this. Okay, okay. Now we are finished. Look at this. What a beauty, what a beauty. Mm. Everybody needs, needs a walk. As pretty as this one. <laughs> also, you have to, you, you have to treat it well. You have to talk to your walk, like Uncle Roger said in his videos. So you, you, your walk loves you as well as the carrots. All right, this is okay. Like always, we will add just a touch just a touch of olive oil, right? Just a touch. Make sure it's just a touch. Okay. Throwing away the cap. <laughs> Where is it? Cap? Hello? Oh no. Hello? Help me? Oh no, the cap of the olive oil bottle is gone. Oh shit. Okay. I will search for it later. Let's just dump a little bit of flour in there. Something like this. And then stir it. Stir it until it starts to thicken a bit. <clears throat> okay, I think we can add a little bit more. Yeah. Also, this um, package of flour is slightly ripped, so now there's flour, uh, flour everywhere over there. Yeah, this is good. So now we have to use the cream. I think so. Yeah, now we put everything in for the, the sauce. Um, there's still a few clumps left, but that's all right. Oh no, it's turning too, 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 too brown. Oh no, I have to... Whoa! Spicy. Okay, put the broth in there to cool it down. Put in the cream. Yeah, like this. I like to prepare a little bit more of sauce because um, <clears throat> I like if there's more sauce than everything. So let's put in some milk as well. Okay, now we have to add the cheese as well. So, Like I said, I usually, usually one is enough, but I like to take two because we are preparing more, um, more sauce. And also, and also because, um, combining two flavors with, oh my God. Okay, this was dumb. Cooking stream specialist. I'm professional, don't mind me. Just look away for a second. My Yanta uh, have dumped the cheese in here. Okay. Shit, I have a lot of cleaning to do later. God damn it. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, I'm I'm always trying to combine two flavors of cheese. Oh, Sheila, what is going on? Why are you meowing in the background? Oh my god, I hope nobody sees this. <clears throat> also, yeah, this is not a, a light meal. Um, something like this can provide food for a whole family, I guess. Remember, don't stick your metal stuff too, too deep into the wok. Just slightly so the cheese can melt a bit and then just jumps off your spoon or whatever you're using. Okay, it's not jumping. <laughs> oh no, it's spreading milk everywhere. 
Why contain it? Just let it spill all over it. Okay. Also, my heart is racing because I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm kind of struggling. I want to provide good content here, but I'm doing silly stuff. Okay, let's just melt it. Hiya, there's soup everywhere. Hiya. Okay. I have to wait until it starts to, to boil a little bit, so... Yeah, now it's getting nice and creamy. It's already cooking when I come home. Nice of you. <laughs> Welcome home, Tio. Do you want something to eat? Do you want a hot bath? Or do you want me? <laughs> <clears throat> what do I have to do next? Wait, this meal is for three person, uh, three people. What? I'm making this for my own, and this is for three people. Oh my god! I will eat it all in one sitting. <laughs> so now we can dump in the vegetables. <clears throat> and after dumping the them uh, the vegetables in there, we have to cook it for uh, ten minutes. Mm, delicious. Okay, <laughs> if I just dump it in here like this, it will explode. So, mm. let's see. Let's do this. Um, can I just put it on here and just... Yeah, something like this. Okay, it's, it's too much. Oh God. Okay, let's... Put them in like this, one at a time, say farewell to every last one of them. <clears throat> like saying goodbye to your child on its first day for school. Say bye bye and <clears throat> give them a kiss on the back as well. So Good thing I washed my hands. We can just dump it in like this. Okay. Okay, we, we can use this later. <clears throat> All right, now we have to set the timer for 10 minutes. Cook it for 10 minutes. If you like it softer, cook it for 12 to 14 minutes. But 10 is usually enough. You get rewarded with a delicious meal. Oh, okay, 10 minutes have passed. So now we have to dump in the totally and that's basically it. After that we just have to taste test and add more spices and everything. So okay. Get in there. Oh no, the fillings are falling out of some of them, but it's all right. Okay, now we just have to heat them up again a little bit. So let's just start. And yeah, as you can see, like I said before, the combination of colors is just amazing. The white sauce, the yellow tortellini, the green broccoli, the orange carrots. Mmm, it's a feast for your eyes. And it also smells delicious, so. <laughs> like I said in the last uh, cooking stream, I use white pepper for white dishes. So let's add like this. I mean, depending on the people you are cooking for, um, don't add too many spices. I mean, because of the cheese and everything, and the salt water that Tortellini um, took in, um, it already tastes good. But like I said, I like it if it's a little bit more spicier and saltier. So I'll add a little bit more of salt as well. And 
yeah, a good measure. And hmm, what was it called in English? Mus muscat, muscat nut, M muscat nut. Brave book, laser, please translate for me to give it this delicious edge. Put it on the light, let's move it closer so you guys can see it steaming. Do you see the sauce? Mmm, extra creamy, but still just a little bit healthy because of the vegetables. And yeah, do you see how, how hot it is? Let's do the taste test out of the dish because everything tastes better if it's well prepared in some nice in a bowl or something, not out of the wok. I only eat out of the walk off stream, so. <laughs> Let's order pizza. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good, it's good. And yeah, now I can show you a better picture. Let's see if autofocus works. Mm. Take a look at this. Isn't this way better than the, 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 the phone camera from before? So, and yeah, enjoy your evening, my friends, and have a good one. Wait, where's the ending screen? There's the ending screen. Love you all, my friends. Take this heart in HD. Bye bye.